our big companies better? This used to be ABB. Now the only thing that ABB still uses is the little glass building over there. ABB was a blue chip company until, until they bought an asbestos firm, which almost made ABB bankrupt. Think of other companies like Swissair, which doesn't exist today anymore, or UBS, which had an existential threat during the credit crisis. So there are big companies that run into big problems, and the Swiss are not alone. In the US, we had Kodak and Enron, both blue chips that do not exist anymore. Even today, we still have big companies that go into trouble, like Toshiba or Nissan. So big companies are not necessarily better, but they do have a couple of advantages. In big companies, you're not alone. There are other large investors. There is also a management team and there is a board. They all make sure the big company survives and they help you secure your investment. Large companies typically also have proven business models which means the way they've been doing business has been proven over a long period of time, with just a few exceptions, maybe like Facebook and Google. So large companies do have advantages and you can do even better. First, buy several of them to be diversified, to lower your risk, spread your investment out of a mul over multiple large companies. And look at the financials. Obermott makes it easy for you. Look at the value rank. The value rank tells you if you pay a good price for the company. And the safety rank tells you if the company is safely financed. So large companies are not necessarily better, but they do have a couple of advantages, especially if you diversify across multiple companies and if you look at, look at the Obermott ranks to make sure they have good financials, good price and good safety.